How? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. That quote from Raiders of the Lost Ark is the greatest quote ever in the history of movies. In that one question and answer, we see the world's approach to life and religion. Just make it up as we go along. And no matter how bad we mess things up, we still want to do it our way. Since Abel's sacrifice was done by faith, it's obvious Cain was not acting by faith. In other words, he was making it up as he went along. And if that wasn't bad enough, he killed his own brother for doing it God's way. This mindset of do it your own way dominated during the days of the judges as Israel bounced from one crisis to another because every man did what was right in his own eyes. Judges 21 verse 25. While it's heartbreaking to see it in the world, it's even more so to see it in folk who claim to follow God, and especially among those who say they follow Jesus Christ according to the New Testament pattern. As we saw last Wednesday, God had an exact pattern for the tabernacle and its furniture, including the Ark of the Covenant. As symbols of Jesus and the salvation available in His name, God made it clear they were a copy of His greater pattern, heaven itself. Therefore, it was necessary for the copies of the things in the heavens to be cleansed with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ did not enter a holy place made with hands, a mere copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Hebrews 9 verses 23 and 24. God also made it clear that as creator and maker, he sets the terms of salvation and worship, Romans 9, verses 14 through 16, and verses 19 and 20. Yet some seem to think that we should reject the idea of patterns entirely and worship God any old way we choose, without realizing they're following a pattern of rejecting patterns. They're following the pattern of Cain and Israel, and that's a tradition of man, not God, Matthew 15, 8 through 9. Those who refuse to follow the pattern of God think that they're being different and unique. But they're like goth dressers. If you've ever seen one, you've seen them all. They dress all in black and they look like every other goth dresser. Patterns are in inevitable and cannot be denied. The question for all of us is, whose pattern will we follow? God's, 2 Timothy 1.13, or man's, Romans 12.2. Making it up as we go along may work in the movies, but it's a terrible way to approach God because, well, he just won't accept it. Just ask Cain. Well, thanks for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClinney hoping you have a great day.